Welcome back to the third part in the final stretch, the home stretch of this edition of News Across Nigeria. We trust we're keeping you updated with what's going on in the states across the Federation. Well, now we go to Abba. The state government resolves to improve infrastructure there in Abia State in the southeast. It's a strategy to boost the economic development in the state. It's been met with mixed reactions, however, amongst residents as it's led to the demolition of shops, structures, and other shanties erected on the walkways and drainages. Knowing this, the government has appealed for patience and understanding by residents, noting that the exercise is not targeted to witch hunt any individual. Ongoing construction work at the Ngwa High School, Abayi area along Osisioma in Ngwa local government area of Abia State. The diversion of motorists to one lane seemed to be taking a toll on both pedestrians and commuters owing to the undesirable traffic situation. The project engineer says the suffering will only last a short time as the construction of the drainage seeks to find a lasting solution to the challenges of flooding which constantly damage the road. The challenge is the traffic. They just have to have patience. Until like three weeks' time, then we'll be done with the, the concrete work. Before December, we'll be done with anything we are doing from here to MCC Junction on both sides. Before December, we'll be done with it. About 20 buildings in the commercial center have been marked for demolition while the contractor seeks a 10 feet right of way from the road. According to a government spokesperson, the effort is an urban renewal program of the present administration, a position those whose buildings are affected do not agree with. Most of these people, when they want to build, they have to compromise the, 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 the land authorities. But there will be a day of recourse, and that day has come. That day of recording has come. When somebody stand up to say, look, we have to do uh, things in the right way. And that is what the government is doing right now. And also to use this opportunity to appeal to about people, the about residents, to continue to show the, 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 the usual understanding and cooperation they have shown to us since we started this project of rebuilding uh, the city. It's coming at a time like this when things are not so good. Understand. So it has the people's you know, stress. It's coming at a very long time. But then, think about the long-run effect. It is going to really bring one joy, beauty of the town, and putting things right. How long now? Why taking this road? I used to find it difficult. Even to cross the 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 uh, keke riders, the trucks, and the buses. We used to drive here, but at least. Here, there is enough drainage. We are yeah, the water can pass through. It's a, it's, a, it's a welcome development. While this continues, it's estimated that more than 2,000 structures will be demolished across the commercial center. That would include Port Harcourt Road, Ungwa Road, some shops in Aria Ria Market, among many others. The wife of the Ogun State Governor, Mrs. Olufunsha Amosun, has challenged government at all levels, corporate organizations and individuals to stand up against breast and cervical cancer, which has continued to pose a serious public health problem in Nigeria. Mrs. Amosun was speaking in Abeokuta, the Ogun State capital, after a campaign on cancer awareness and screening for tertiary school students and women across the state. She wants women to always maintain good health and promised that the current administration will settle the surgery bills of those detected to have the disease. Experts at the awareness program believe that a comprehensive approach to cancer prevention and control should involve health education, vaccinating girls before initiation of sexual activity. Early detection of 
unfortunately to date is the only prevention. The cure to cancer hasn't been found despite all the researches, but once you detect it in its early stage, then you can prevent it from spreading and we can all live a normal and healthy life. What am I doing to help her further? And that is why this year we have taken the campaign a step further and His Excellency Senator Mikhe Amosu FCA CON, the Executive Governor of Ogun State, has agreed to pay for surgery for women who we discover actually have that's incredible news for those who will benefit uh, from that surgery, as announced by the wife of the Ogun State Governor, Mrs. Olufunshaw Amosun. And that's the curtains for this edition of News Across Nigeria, where it's been a southeast, southwest, south, south affair for today. Many thanks for watching. Do join us again tomorrow. I'm Alumidia McCauley. See you again. <laughs>